Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Brand Gun and this is quite tiny kit as you can see it comes in 144 scale, it copies Japanese aircraft Kokusai Tago and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review, nothing will change, that's actually the final uh, state of this release and of course you can always get it on official brand gun website so in case you are not patient and you would like to get it ASAP just go there and order it it is quite easy thing to do so first of all box is surprisingly small so I guess model won't be big either here you can see comparison with my hand it completely covers this tiny box but it's a typical box size for some of the brand gun kits so I guess if you build some of their 144 scale aircraft models you will be familiar with that and here we have again website of the manufacturer on the rear side we have some safety devices address of the manufacturer and also website where you can actually order this small box. So this is a side opening box, just give me a second to open it. It's a bit difficult to open with one hand. And here is what we have inside, it's a tight package but still there is plenty of room so I really doubt that something will arrive to you in a damaged state. And what do we have here is several plastic bags. So first one is dedicated to resin parts. Then we have one more with decals and P, and another one is a, of course assembly manual which wraps around all these components. Of course we are going to start with the resin parts and then gradually we will move on to other things which are included into this kit. So just give me a second to open this stuff and we will take a closer look in a second. Frankly speaking, Japanese aircraft in 144 scale is not that, I would say, often seen genre. So it's really interesting that Brain Gun decided to now issue it in form of resin kit. And here we have first set of parts. So this is a one piece wings. And as you can see, they come in this nice ribbed surface and everything looks really cool. I'm not sure, yeah, here we can see well, maybe they're uh, straight to the root, so there is no attachment point. But we will check in assembly manual how they should be cut out, because this is quite interesting design. But casting quality looks fine, I don't have any complaints here. Everything looks decent for such tiny size. Next, we continue with the fuselage. And this one is also quite surprising, so here it is. And as you can see, first of all, it comes as a single piece part. Of course, it's uh, beneficial for 144 scale aircraft because you won't have any seams in the middle. We also have some interior elements pre-casted here, so it's also surprising. And overall, attachment points are really thin, so it should be easy to separate all this stuff and get it ready to be assembled together. The only thing you have to be careful is wing installation because as you can see there is just a small recess spot so wings both sides will have to be glued exactly there. Next we continue with the tail surfaces so rudder, tail fin, tail wings and also main landing gear legs are molded separately and everything looks fine these parts are really tiny here you can see comparison with my fingertip and if you flip it over here you can check these parts from the opposite side. But all the features look really impressive uh, for 144 scale. So this model deserves a uh, careful painting and weathering in order to bring out these tiny things. So next we continue with the propeller here. And I'm not sure where these thin parts will go. So we will have to check. But we also have bomb here which will be placed under the fuselage. And next we continue with plastic bag which is dedicated to decals and P thread. It is stapled. Here you can see it. So I will have to use a debonder in order to open it. So just give me a second to do this. And we will take a look at what is actually supplied here. Okay. So P thread is unpainted and no surprise it's really tiny 
So here we have various parts for fine details on the aircraft and definitely install all of them because your model will benefit from such addition and yes you will need sharp tweezers because they are tiny but final result would look really nice. By the way we also have the special film here because as you can see windscreen should be assembled out of special frame this tiny part and this now film, transparent film which will be actually glued there but that's not all, there is also a small decal sheet here we even have some decals for the instrument panel printing quality looks really nice so it's a matter of careful application and these symbols are really small here again you can see comparison with my fingertip so I would rather install all this stuff only with tweezers do not try to do it bare fingered because it will be quite a tricky thing to do and you might end up with damaged parts or maybe some lost elements and that's a quite horrible result because then you have to search for it and as I said these are really tiny parts and last but not the least is the assembly manual which comes in form of black and white brochure so there is no history note whatsoever if I zoom out you can see what I'm talking about so we start with the parts map straight away and then we continue with cockpit as you remember, uh, cockpit instrument decal. So as you remember, the cockpit decal instrument for the instrument panel we printed separately, and it will be applied there inside. And next, we continue with this small frame for the windscreen. And here we install this windscreen on the fuselage. So be ready for that. It might be a bit tricky process to do. And here we install wings, so basically you have to cut wings straight to the casting base and that's a bit unusual because you will have to be careful in order not to damage this attachment point. And the same applies to the tail surfaces because they are molded in pretty much the same way except of tail wings because as you remember tail wings are casted on the external edge. So basically you will be attaching these edges to the fuselage and this one will be external. So at least something will be handy in the assembly process. And next we have the landing gear installation as well as the bomb and some struts for the tail wings and small P part for the tail landing gear leg. And on the opposite side here we have propeller and decals application guide so there is only one marking option as you can see and marking guide is in black and white so I would rather search for some uh, I would say reference photos which should guide you on what weathering and what painting ideas to apply or even on this small model because such tiny aircraft deserve some interesting cues in the painting scheme so definitely think how to enhance it so that you won't get just a plain green aircraft maybe some dirt maybe some dust still it will make it a bit more natural in comparison with uh, pure clean built in a green color so that's all for today as i said uh, today's kit should be already available you can get it on official brand gun website and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye